Welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is Andre. I come from Berlin. I am an engineer at SoundCloud. And this is, uh, this is fighting lo the law of physics with Elm. And on this picture, it's me fighting the law of physics without Elm. Uh, so I fell in love with this nice functional programming language called Elm. And I've been mainly using it in my spare time to make games. And uh, the last game that I built uh, last spring uh, was uh, this uh, physically simulated die. There was a game jam and the topic was randomness. So I thought that it would be cool to make a game uh, where dice is physically simulated. And I had no idea about physics, uh, about computational physics or what does it take to make such thing. Uh, so I looked at the existing implementation that was uh, Canon.js and JavaScript, and I tried to port the code to Elm. And it was very challenging, and the reason why was because uh, porting a mutable object-oriented code to functional code that only has pure functions and immutable data structures uh, requires to reshuffle a, a lot of things and also learn about these things and the order they should happen. Uh, so this is uh, how the API looks like. Uh, you start with a world. You can add bodies to the world. It gives you a new immutable world and an idea of the body that you add. And the main uh, magic happens in the step function. It's a function that takes milliseconds that uh, passed since the previous frame. It takes uh, current world and then it returns you a new immutable world. So how does it work internally? Internally, there are uh, several steps, and the input to the next step is from the previous step. Uh, the first step is to find pairs of body that can possibly collide. Then uh, these uh, bodies are actually collided together, and uh, you can find, by, by doing this, you find collision points between bodies. And then using this information, you load this all into a solver that solves physical constraints, and as a result, you have updated velocities. And using updated velocities and time since the previous frame, you can calculate new positions and rotations. And I have a small demo. Hopefully it works. Uh, so this is, by the way, also rendered with Elm using Elm WebGL library. Uh, clicking on the screen drops either a box or a sphere, and uh, there is a nice debugging interface that is possible, you can use in order to see collision points in, and wireframes. And you can also see FPS, and it's very challenging to achieve performance. The, Current state is it can do up to 20 bodies and then and then FPS drops below 60. Uh, so so what is it all about? Uh, currently, I'm one of the two people who work on this, and I'm actually I would like other people to join the project. So I'm looking for somebody who is experienced in computational physics or linear algebra or at least have some interest in it and wants to learn Elm. Uh, these are the plans for the, for the future of the library. I would, first, I would like to have a new project that I will be working on in order to evolve uh, the API. And some features that I would like to add to the API is an ability to interact with bodies in the scene and an ability to expose collision events. Also, performance with your functions and immutability is a very challenging aspect. And the last thing I want to say is I organize Elm Berlin meetup. So if you happen to be in Berlin at the time when our event happens, please pay us a visit. Uh, you can find us on meetup.com. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.